Hey! Who? Uh, ah. Guys, I have to be completely honest with you. This might be one of the roughest weeks I have ever had as far as artistic productivity and inspiration and just just being stuck in that artistic slump. So, I thought this is a absolutely perfect time to come up with a list of five things you can do to get out of that slump. Yes. Number one, exercise. I am a firm believer that when you stimulate your body, you are going to stimulate your mind. That was a really weird thing to say. Starting your day with a run or getting on your bike and going for a bike ride or even just going for a walk, like hop on your local trail or go hiking, do some push-ups or some sit-ups, something to just get moving. It's so easy when you're just sitting in a chair or at your desk for hours upon hours to just grow stagnant. So get out and do some form of exercise, something to get the blood flowing because when the blood flows through your heart, it flows into your brain, which then fuels your creative engine and you make more. Science. Number two, go out and do a master study. Now, if you're wondering, Jake, what is a master study? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell ya. Um, um. A master study is when you pick an artist that you really admire, pick a drawing or an illustration or a painting that they've done and try to copy it as closely as possible. Now before you go, whoa, 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 you can't copy things, that's stealing. Yes and no. Yes, if you copy that work and then use it as your own or you don't give credit to the original artist, then yup, that's stealing. You can't do that. With a master study, you are just simply trying to learn from that artist who has more skill and experience. There is a really great article by Ron Lemon. Um, link is in the description below if you want to read it. It goes like way in depth of what it means to do a master study and best practices. Ron and his wife Vanessa have a website. On the website they have a lot of really awesome tutorials and classes you can sign up for and take if you want to learn more. Which brings me into point number three, follow a tutorial. If you are really stuck in, art, in an artistic slump, sometimes you just have to watch somebody else do art and follow along. Doing a tutorial kind of removes the original creative thinking on your part. You're following somebody else's creative ideas and their step-by-step -step process. There's kind of a misconception in the artistic community that a tutorial is for like beginners or for someone who like isn't as good as art. And that is wrong. I'm gonna give you an example to help you understand this. If I were to hand you all the parts to build a motorcycle and just say, build me a motorcycle, 99% of the world would not be able to do that. I, I have no idea what it takes to just build a motorcycle. No, if I wanted to build a motorcycle, I would take a class where an instructor would show me step by step how to build the motorcycle. I would first learn how to build the frame, and then once the frame is built, I'd learn how to build the wheels, and how the suspension would work, and then how the engine would work. You do it in parts. I'm not just gonna go out and build a freaking motorcycle. I have to have someone tutor me, <laughs> see what I did there? Tutor me on how to build the motorcycle. Art is the exact same way. No matter how much experience you have, taking a tutorial is just such a good way to learn something new and it can really push you into the next level to get past your artistic slump. And that's what it's all about. Number four. I almost held up three fingers there. Dude, you just gotta change your scenery. If you are like me and you work in an office or in, this is in my apartment, but it's still like my office and my desk, Sometimes you just got to change it up a little bit. If you want to shake things up, go outside. Like just step outside. I'm, I'm motioning to the window because see, look at Change your scenery. Take a sketchbook and a pencil and just hop outside. Go and, and paint the trees, draw the trees. Um, go to a coffee shop and drink a cup, drink, 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 drink a cup of coffee and draw while you're there. Go to the park and sit on a bench and draw or bring words. 
bring a blanket and draw on the blanket. Just get out of the house. Sit on the patio, go into your car and draw something from your car just to change things up a little bit. Tip number five you have to be really careful with. Don't fight your slump. Now, listen to me for a second. You cannot force art. It's not something you can just sit down and crank out and make something amazing. Art is something that you feel and it's inspirational and it's your passion, it's your insides on your outside in drawing form. That was a gross analogy. Sometimes you just can't fight the slump. You're just not feeling it for the day. And that's okay. You might just need to take the day off. You know, spend time with your family or go walk your dog or play some video games. But here's, here's, my, here's my catch. Here's what you have to be really, really careful with this last step. Do not get sucked into the slump. You have to monitor yourself to make sure you don't go too far with this. It is so easy to get sucked into the YouTube wormhole. I've done this way too many times. You sit down, you watch a video, you're taking a little break. Four hours later, you're halfway through a bag of Doritos and you're like, holy crap, where'd all the time go? I haven't done anything today because I've been watching YouTube videos the entire day. Now, if you're watching my videos, ignore everything I just said because that's way okay. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't do that, please. But do, but seriously, but don't. Because I don't want you to do that. You have to be careful that you don't go too far. You don't get sucked into the lazy slump. You have to allow yourself to breathe. It's probably your body just saying, whoa, 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 take a break. You're pushing yourself too much. Come back to it tomorrow. But that's the thing. You have to come back to it. You can't allow yourself to fall into that slump. Careful. It's very easy. It's bad. Don't do it. I beg of you. Don't do it. All right, everybody. I hope these are five tips that are going to help you get out of your artistic slump. Um, I know they have worked for me in the past, so I'm fairly certain they're going to work for you too. If this is a video that you liked, please consider subscribing to this channel so you get updates. If you turn the little bell on, you're going to get updates every time I post a video. Every Wednesday I post some sort of speed painting or speed drawing, and then every Friday it's some sort of like tutorial or helpful thing that I've learned throughout the week or just something that's on my mind art related. Go ahead and like and share this and subscribe it like I already said, and I will see you next time. Okay, good. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everything you are, and I love your socks. I don't know if you're wearing cool socks or not, but if you are, I love them. They're so cool. Okay, I'm done now. This is cringy, and I'm over it.